Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. What a beautiful Sunday. Good morning and praise the Lord. I know you are prepared to go to church in your different fellowships. And I want to challenge you. I want to charge you as you go to church this morning. And I want to tell you that God loves you very, very much. My name is uh, Reverend Ibrahim Owino Uchiang. I'm a pastor at Sitam Eldoret. That's where we worship every other Sunday. We have two services every Sunday from 9 to 10.30 to, to 11. And then from 11.30 to 1. We, we meet every other day just to worship the Lord. I continue with my series I began on Monday on the promise of the Spirit. And there are two points that I was trying to expound, the intimacy with God through His Spirit and the Spirit of life in Christ. And yesterday I was talking about holiness. And today I want to talk about the Father is the vine dresser. It is his role to keep us abiding in the vine. The more we are aware of our weaknesses, the greater potential there is for his strength to be manifested in our lives. I believe you've heard what I've said. And I'll repeat it again. The more we are aware of our weaknesses, the greater potential there is for his strength to be manifested in our lives. Prayer is not asking God to strengthen our strength. It is feeling at home in our weaknesses, knowing the power of Christ rest on us. Somebody say amen. Weakness is the key to strength. If you read 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verses 9, and weakness need to open us to God's grace. Hallelujah. Weakness is not seen. Weakness needs to open us to, God, to God's grace. You know, there's something that Paul said in Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 and 13. Paul said, I've learned in all things to be content. The way I talk, the way I live, the way I dress, the way I walk, I have learned to be content in all things. I have been initiated into a secret. There's a secret child of God. There's a secret. He had been initiated into the secret of true contentment. Hallelujah. To be sufficient from Christ within. Yanu nasema nimetosheka na Christo. Nimeomoka na Christo. You are sufficient with Christ from within. Literally, what I'm saying, you are strengthened by the Spirit from the inside. Listen to me, child of God, even as you prepare to go to church. Don't see temptation and trial as a negative, but that which leads us to Christ's power. Somebody say amen. James 1 and verses number 2. We will always fail if we see it as something to overcome. It is something which leads us to the grace of God. So see it as an opportunity to have fellowship with the Spirit and experience His life and power over your life. The Spirit is the sap who brings the life of Jesus into the branches. God's way of dealing with the flesh is not to go to work on it, but to walk in the Spirit. Hallelujah. If we give our attention to how we are going to overcome sin, we will spend all our time focusing on the sin we want to be free of. Whatever we give attention to, we give strength to it. So give your attention to the Holy Spirit. Don't give your attention to the sin if you want to overcome sin in your life. God will not give me patience, humility, love. He has given me Jesus. Only one package. Hallelujah. I have Jesus this morning. You need Jesus this morning. And when you get Jesus, you will learn humility. You will know what patience is all about. You will know what love is all about. When we received Christ, we received love. 
We received righteousness. We received holiness. We received forgiveness. You can mention it all. By yielding to the Spirit, we put to death the deeds of our body. Don't say no to temptation. Say yes to the Spirit. Hallelujah. Close the door to temptation by opening it to the Spirit. As I pray with you, as I, you go to church this morning, I challenge you in Jesus' name that God loves you. And I say this in conclusion. Having fellowship with the Holy Spirit means to focus on what He focuses on. And the Holy Spirit focuses on God's love and Jesus. Respond to His love this morning, not to the law. See your weakness as an opportunity for grace and God is going to bless you. Allow me to pray for you, even as you go to church in Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, I thank you this morning. You are reminding us that you are the vine dresser and the Holy Spirit is the sap that sap the branch. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that we will not fear temptation, but will open the door of grace in our life. Pray for this brother, I pray for this sister, I pray for this family. Even as they wake up to go to church, pray that you'll bless them. Be glorified and be exalted. In Jesus' name I pray them. And the people of God say, Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.